Hi friends, it's Deanna here today and today we're making the cutest flower pillow. I'm super excited about this pattern. It's super easy. You can make it with just the regular full petals or you can make it with individual petals so you can do different coloring. It has different sizes. This is the small, but you can make it, you know, small, medium or large. And then the center can be either big like this one or you can have a small center. So let's get started. Alrighty, let's get started. I'm um, for the front. I'm doing the color blocking, the separate petals. For the back, I'm just doing the one yellow. Um, and here's my center. Um, that's what it's gonna be. It's gonna be a spring pillow. So what we're going to do first is we're going to sew the petals together. I like to go ahead and position them how they're going to go, so that way I don't get dis like distracted, not distracted, but I don't get confused in the order that I'm sewing them. I'm gonna grab one of my petals and I'm gonna grab a second petal and lay it right on top, right sides together at the at that um, side edge. And I'm going to sew at a 3 8 seam allowance right here, starting at the top and back uh, back stitch and then go all the way down and then do a little back stitch here at the end. And then we're gonna come back and steam that seam allowance open and then do the rest around. Um, but let me show you. So let's do this one. All right, so here, I already sewed that up. I'm gonna open it, and I'm gonna steam open this seam allowance. And I'm gonna turn it around, and I'm just gonna steam, I mean, not steam, I'm gonna clip these little pieces here at the edge, the seam allowance that hangs out at the bottom. So there's my petal. And now I will repeat this step with all of them. So here is my finished one and here's my next one. I'm going to grab it and place it right sides together, right on top. And then I'm going to go ahead and go sew it and go all the way around. We want to make sure here in the center where they create a V, a v right here to trim those seam allowances. Don't let them get long because um, then this will create bulk right here on this side when you're um, when you put it together. All right, here at the end we fold it over itself here, and we're gonna close that last petal. that up all right once that's done we're gonna work on our middle circle we're gonna grab the two circles and put them right sides together I'm doing this small so I'm gonna sew it all the way around the circle leaving a two to three inch gap for turning um, if you're doing the big circle you can leave a bigger gap but we're just facing them right sides together and sewing both circles you want to sew by slowly turning your fabric around uh, to keep it a really nice and even circle. Before you turn it, you want to snip your fabric, um, do little snippets that will help to better turn your fabric because it's a circle. Um, don't cut the thread though. So make sure that you go up to it, but not right, don't cut it off. So I'm gonna go do that all the way around. All right, now we're gonna turn the fabric all the way around. Once it's all turned around, we're gonna steam it and we're gonna fold in those seam allowances to make a perfect little circle. To help with this, if you want to, you could put a basting stitch all the way around, kind of like placing, showing where that seam allowance is here. So when you turn, you can guide yourself with that um, if you want it to, for, to make it a really nice and crisp circle. All right, so. There we go. All right, since I'm using a paper pattern, I'm grabbing my paper pattern and I'm going to cut out the circle in the center, the pattern placement, the large um, center flower 
placement. If you're doing the large circle, you cut out the large circle. If you're doing the little circle, then you cut out the little circle. Don't cut your fabric. You're just cutting out your pattern piece. So that way you have the placement here showing you where you're going to add that to your fabric. Now I'm going to grab my pattern piece and I'm going to place it right over my uh, petals. And you're going to do it on your back as well. And I'm going to grab a marker or water soluble pencil or chalk or whatever you want to use. And I'm going to trace out where my markings, where my circle is going to go. Now we're going to place it flush with the circle. See, here's the circle. We're going to place it flush. And that's going to be your guide on where it's the circle is going to be attached to. And then we're going to pin it and attach it by sewing it all the way around. I will say, if you have a hard time getting that, those petals to match up in the center, don't worry about it too much because you're going to put this petal right in the center. So you won't be able to see the center area um, if for some reason they get a little bit skewed. But you want to make sure that all the outer edges are matching. See how these are all nice at the v point right there you want to make sure that they're all nice and even because you're going to match it you're going to add the border and everything and you want it to all match up all right now as we saw we want to leave a little gap where we can stuff this center piece add a little bit of fluff on there but i'm sewing at about a 1 8 inch seam allowance just top stitching After I clip all these threads, I'm going to add a little bit of fill to the center of the petal of the flower um, to give it a little fluff. And then I'm going to go ahead and top stitch that closed gap that I left open. All right, so we are finished putting together the front of the flower and the back of the flower. Now all we've got left to do is to add the gusset all the way around. I'm going to put these aside. I'm going to grab my gusset and as you can see this is the small one. Oops. There's a lot of stuff everywhere. We're going to mark where those lines are on the gussets here. The markings on both sides. I'm just going to mark them because those are going to show me the petals on the petals. And then I'm going to meet them, put them right sides together, and sew the short raw edges. So for the small gusset, for the small pillow, small medium, you have two. For the large, you'll have four that you'll put together, but you'll put them together right the same way. At the short raw edge, creating like a loop, a big loop. I'm gonna sew those sides. So I'm going to match up these little uh, notches that I that I uh, marked. That are gonna match up right where the V is in on the petal. So I'm going to use my pins, and I'm going to match them up right there because they're gonna go. So this will be the whole petal. We're gonna put it all around the petal like so. And then where my mark is, is my V right here. See that? And then I'm going to match up all these edges. I think I like to do the edges with my clips. And then I just make sure that I pin right there at the Vs. When you're sewing this on, you may want to make your stitch a little bit smaller as you come into the V and the point and then tip and then go around. You see what I'm saying? So that way it'll get cut there. But this is right sides together here with the petals and they should fit real nicely right here. Okay, so then we'll go to the next point. See it right there? And that's gonna be the V right here. And then it should match all the way around the edge and we're gonna do that all the way around for all the petals. Let's go sew it all the way around. 
All right, you know what? I'm going to top stitch it from this angle, from the back, because I wanna make sure I look at the V. So that's why I picked it up and went and turned it around now. I get right to the crease, I'm lifting up and turning. I'm going the other way. Then I can lengthen my stitch again to normal and keep going. Lower my stitch, go all the way to the V point, to the seam up, lift up the stitch, go turn, back down. All right, now once we're done, we're gonna grab our scissors we're gonna clip about an inch apart. We're gonna just clip the seams to kind of make sure that they're not too bulky. Again, don't clip all the way to the thread. You're just clipping the seams. And then here at the V, you're clipping down to the seam here again, the thread. Don't clip the thread. Just before you get to the thread, all the Vs to re uh, reduce the bulk. and you can actually go ahead and steam those petals out because what we're going to do next is the back. So make sure that they're all nice and even. And if you do, like uh, if you have um, a ham or something like that, you can give it a good steam. See how nicely that makes it on the other side once you do that little steam. Um, if you don't have one of these, you really can just open it up in the corner of your mat. You just want to open that seam allowance out so that you have a flat seam on the other side. Now, if you have fabric that doesn't take the heat, you can just open it up and press it open with your fingers. That also helps. Alrighty, now we can turn it around. And actually, we're not gonna turn it around yet. We're gonna grab the other petal and we're gonna match up those points right here. See the points? The same points that we matched up on the other side, we're gonna match up here as well. So there's my point, right sides together. Here's my other point. And then we're gonna go ahead and do the same exact thing that we did on the other side, except for we're going to leave a gap for stuffing. So I'm gonna probably sew up and leave like a gap and then start sewing again, you know, once I get, you know. What I'm gonna do is probably start sewing and go all the way around. So I'll start like on the side and then end up here. So I'll have like a gap to close up later. And obviously you don't wanna leave the gap to be, the gap to, you, you leave to be the a V, a V point, you want it to be around the edge. So let's do that. Once that's done, we're going to trim around like we did earlier on the other side. And then here at the gap, we're going to turn it all around. It's coming together. So cute. We're going to go ahead and stuff it. But first, I'm going to make sure those petals are sticking out nicely and rounded. And then we're going to stuff it and then we'll close that gap that we left open and we'll be done. All right, I'm adding extra fill here. Um, so it's gonna look a little plush here, but because I wanna add enough that it will cover up, it will fill up this petal here too. I don't, want it, I don't want this petal to be deflated. So then I'll move it around and make sure. That looks really, really cute. 
So now I'm gonna go ahead and seal this here by ladder stitching. Um, you can do it with, you can do hand stitching here. If you wanna try to go to the, your sewing machine and try to do it on your sewing machine, you can, but it's easier if you just do a hand stitch here to close this gap up. You just fold in the seam allowance and then you hand stitch it closed. And we do have a video here on our YouTube channel and how to do that. Look, it looks cute on both sides. It looks cute on this side and then for a more colorful look on this side. How cute is this? I think it'll be really cute too to do like a name here, like the little, um, a little, you know, if, if it's for your child, the child's name, or to do it like on other colors, like solid colors for your couch. Um, and do it like just a fun touch for the holidays and stuff like that. It's so cute. All right, I'm gonna hand stitch it and then we'll be done. We are all done and I think it turned out adorable. It's so cute. I love it. Um, I think this would be such a perfect uh, pattern to give to um, your kids for their bedroom or like to spruce up your house. I am going to be making a few more of different ones. I like the solid version as well. I'm going to be making a few more of these and I'm going to be placing them on my couch to decorate for the spring season. I think that will be super cute. Spring is my favorite season season and so anything that reminds me of spring is my favorite um i hope you enjoyed this tutorial please comment like share subscribe if you haven't go grab this pattern in the description bow bow in the description box below and then come back and sew it up with me 